Joe, tell us our picks here. So let's go, obviously, from left to right. But ACC, SEC, Big Ten, Big 12. It looks like we got oh, pretty much all the same, but one little mix up here with Louisville, which we just talked about. Yeah, so we obviously we we're not going to repeat the shouting match that just happened. Uh, you and I see two completely different stylistic teams here. I think that Florida State, despite their issues with the quarterback position, are going to find a way to win that game. I mean, uh, Bama versus Georgia, it is what it is. I think that we, even though in the preview you kind of leaned Alabama the way that you you led that in, and I think a lot of the comments kind of think that you were leaning Alabama. Uh, we both understand that Georgia is a juggernaut. They are unstoppable, and they're a terrible, tough matchup for Alabama to have to deal with. And then lastly, we just we just talked about this. I mean, M- Michigan, we know who they are. We know that they're going to beat Iowa pretty easily. And Texas could likely get that blowout against Oklahoma State. I did pick Louisville. I hate myself for it. I just think that there's going to be some chaos here. Um, I was I was ever so close to picking Alabama, which you mentioned earlier. Because oh my god! If you did that, I wouldn't. Have sh- I I would have. I I actually might have like like burst a uh, a blood vessel in my in my head or something. I was man. close to picking him just to be a troll, and then I was like, okay, well, it's the end of the year. Some of these games Come that on. I'm picking, I got to, I got to get serious here. I'm down. All right, but I do think Georgia's going to win. I think they win by a field goal as well. I think that game is super close. I do think Jalen Milrow makes some really crazy plays uh, in that game. Um, the other side, Joe, obviously I'm going Oregon. You're going Washington. I picked Oregon and win the yeah. Pac-12. You picked Washington. We talked about that. Tulane, SMU. I'm going with the boys from Nolens. You're going from the boys from Fort Worth. We both picked Troy. We both picked Liberty to win the Sun Belt and the CUSA. I, I guess any more thoughts on that? Uh, I really like Preston Stone, and I think that despite Tulane being as good as they've been this year, I think that SMU has been a they're they're a sleeper. You know, they they are an underrated yeah. G five team. They're sneaky good, and I think they're going to go into the ACC and and stir up some shit. I really think that they're going to cause some problems, and this could be a stepping stone for them. Yeah, Rhett Lashley, a guy that I know that we talked about a lot during the uh, non playing portion of the year. Yeah. Um, Doing a great job. Look, that Dallas Fort Worth area, they got a lot of it's a hotbed for recruiting. A lot of kids go there that don't go to the bigger schools. They've been pretty good this year. Just don't think it matters because there's one big difference here. You know what it's called? It's called what? Michael Pratt. All right. So give me the that. Pratt, give me the Prattster, give me Tulane. And if I pick against Tulane, the entire city of New Orleans would hate me. And I don't, I don't want that. Um Final thoughts here on the week, Oregon and Washington. I think that's the biggest one that you and I are going to be watching on Friday night here. I Let's still go stick. Ducks. Let's go Ducks. I still stick with what I said. I, I think that Washington has been challenged and they know how to recover from those challenges. And this is going to be another one of those games where they figure out a way to bounce back. They're going to get punched in the face and they will bounce back. Let's go, Ducks. You know, I heard Dan Lanning speak today. Uh huh. And he's got a defensive blitz package for old Mr. Nick, uh, uh, Penix. Is that what he said? Yeah, I, I got a package. Any more than that? Yeah, I, I got a package for him. It's called the Flying V, and we're going to take their ass out. Did he actually say this? Actually, no. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm just, I, I'm making it up. But. I like. I gotta stay with my pick here, man. I gotta stay with the Ducks. I've been with them all year. Haven't picked against them. And what's so crazy is I'm an LSU guy, and I need them to lose. Okay, because uh, of Jaden Daniels. By the way, last thing. We had a comment on the show. Okay, oh, I, when we did the when we did the Pac-12 uh, championship preview, I was wearing a purple shirt. And you were wearing a shirt that had the ducks on it, and you were picking Washington, and I was picking. That's a, I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. That's hilarious. That's so wild. Wow. They, they, the guy was like, "Look at these two hobos, uh, color coordinating themselves to give everybody the mismatch and color coordinating." And I'm like, "Oh, this, this guy's is- from Queens." Right? <laughs> By the way, that he's typing like this guy's uh, from Queens, okay. Oh so, God. Make sure you check out Bet Online for all of your sports betting needs. 
For anything that I do betting related, I go on over to betonline.ag and I use promo code BELIEVE50. BetOnline has all of the latest updated odds for the NFL and college football seasons. Anything you need, whether it's futures, live in-game betting, no matter what, your football betting needs are met at BetOnline. And again, make sure you use that promo code BELIEVE50, B-L-E-A-V-5-0 to get a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.